from the end of platforms 3 and 4. First an AE36 Mark II. Empty stock workings often produce the oldest locos. This is an AE47. An RBE44 motor coach with a red buffet car on the rear. An AE47 brings in a jumble, including a German Railways through coach. Even the permanent way engineer is represented. Driving van leading, here's a longer distance push pull train powered by an RBE44 of quite recent construction. And the RABDE1212, like the one we arrived on, returns to the Gold Coast. Now we visit the signalling centre. Methods differ here from those in Britain. Seated on a raised platform, controllers set the routes for train movements. Their timetable is in list form. Entrance and exit buttons must be depressed simultaneously on a Swiss panel. White indications show routes which have been set. The lights turn red to show the passage of a train. After it has passed, the lights go out as the route is automatically cancelled section by section. This near vertical panel faces the controllers, as well as the red and white route indications. Numerical displays identify each train by its timetable number. This corner shows Wiedikon, first station on the line towards Talwil. Two panels by the windows are operated by senior shunters. They set up movements of light engines and of empty trains between sidings and the station. Their activities have to be fitted between those of the men behind them controlling train movements. The station announcer sits where she can see the train numbers on the controller's panel. She uses languages appropriate to the train's destination. But she said she only had five languages and couldn't do the through service to Belgrade in serbo croat Signals on the Talvil line normally work automatically, but controls for either way operation on both tracks are to be found under a cover. On top of the signalling centre, this aerial mast provides communication with the shunters, whose radios are carried in a chest harness. Imported fruit and veg are unloaded in sidings on the north side of the station approaches. This wagon from Romania is insulated to keep the load fresh. This freight from the Talvil line will have to reverse in a passenger platform at Hauptbahnhof to reach the old freight marshalling yard, where this six-axle shunter works at the low hump. A crocodile brings in a string of cement wagons and uh, returns towards the loco depot. 
contrasting with the modern AE66. This is the coachyard control tower. Its British equivalent would probably still be hand operated in 1968. Despite the route setting panel, they still have loose shunted coaches. Nice variety of mail vans. These diesel TEE sets by the Dutch firm Werkspoor were new in 1957. This one was off to Amsterdam via Strasbourg, Luxembourg and Brussels. One was later sold to Ontario Northland in Canada, where the coaches were still running in the 1990s. A push-pull arriving from the Ehrlichan direction. And seen over the carriage sidings, a departure towards Winterthur and St. Gallen.